and I will have a look again on the current state of play. Uh, for the moment, I can tell you that for us it's clear that the decisions uh, made by the government are not sufficient for the moment, so we need further uh, uh, steps uh, to guarantee the independence of the judge systems, the high court, but also uh, on the normal judge system, so it's not sufficient for the moment. And uh, please have a close look on what is going on here. We need this direct advice from you. And thanks for being present also here, because here today uh, we will receive from all over Europe, not only from EU internal uh, inside, but also from uh, ex external partners from all over Europe. They must see that there is something going on in Poland, that people are worried about what is happening here, because that gives us a lot of uh, strength for doing the necessary steps in the upcoming weeks. Well, thanks so much. Yeah. Hopefully you can keep this uh, engagement of civil society. Excuse me, if I may add one sentence only. That these proceedings, these complaints to the European Court of Justice would let the European Commission uh, to put this issue on the legal, strictly legal level, not a political level. Absolutely. And that's the argument. Extremely the of the European Court of Justice that will have to be accepted by all sides of the political uh, scene, so even the current opposition. So we, we think it's a non-political way to handle uh, a, a very important issue. I think I'm afraid they are rushing you up. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to keep you. We, so we will support you, but you have to act as a politician. You can count on us. And the bridge builders are also yeah. here, <laughs> so those who are present in the group meetings and the discussions in, in, in Brussels and Strasbourg and, uh, and with us. So thank you so much for your engagement. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pretty helpful Thank you. 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 Thank you.